That's right, kiavaldevi.co.za. You can find out more details about this wonderful expo that's taking place next weekend here in the Western Cape. And we're going to find out more this morning about what it takes to have that perfect face and that perfect hair for your wedding day. Richard and Rashad joining us this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Expresso. Morning, morning, morning. Now, a lot of brides always go, the makeup artists, they don't want to fork out money for makeup and hair. They always say it's the most expensive thing on the day. True or not? Definitely not. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because well, I've seen some of my friends who've, who've got their, their wedding bills yeah. for, for makeup. He's the makeup man. Mm. Yeah, I'm the hair man. Mm. So from a hairdressing point, you know, the way I look at things is that look, hair is something you wear every day. Yeah, and it's every day of, <laughs> of the course. year. And what you've really got to do is feel comfortable because that's your biggest day coming up. Mm. And if it's your biggest day, you've really got to look great and you're going to be the star attraction. Mm. So you've really got to put some time and effort in and make sure that you're going to spend time understanding, feeling, feeling comfortable about how you're going to wear your hair that day. Yeah. And what goes into planning, before we chat about the makeup, about the hair? When brides come to you, I'm, I mean, I'm yeah, sure they're no, frustrated and they go, we want up styles, no, we want down styles. Yeah, and I think, you know, what, what tends to happen is everyone puts input in, but really you've got to find out what the person really wants. It's their day and it's about how they're going to feel on that day. But quite often, brides quite start off with the fact of saying, I'm just going to grow my hair. But they really need to be planning. You know, if they're going to plan a wedding a year in advance, they've got to think about the hair a year in advance. And you've got to think about what type of colour, how you're going to grow the hair, how you're going to actually treat the hair. and what overall style you want to accomplish so for mm. me a bride needs to start thinking about that at the same time in the wedding dress as well yeah because that's really important I've never thought of it that way yeah and makeup in terms of makeup that's not something you need to plan a year in advance no, is it? No, there's definitely um, I mean with Estee Lauder we believe that um, every woman can be beautiful um, but I do think that there's a lot of planning involved um, you definitely need to have that um, sort of look for your wedding and um, I suppose um, it's all about the look nowadays. Everyone wants to be beautiful and look beautiful. Um, that's the reason why um, we have to, you have to prepare very well for it. Um, to have a beautiful skin, you obviously have to go through using your skincare, your cleanser, your toner, your moisturizer, your repair wear and stuff. And I believe that um, with beautiful um, skincare come beautiful makeup. And what are the trends when, when, when we're looking at weddings? The I mean, day and, and night weddings, does, does the makeup differ? Um, well, there's, there's sort of three sort of looks that we normally at Estee Lauder do. We do like a romantic, a classic and a natural look. Um, and it depends on really um, what the client really wants. And, and, you know, you go according to the dress, the hairstyle. Um, yeah, that's how you... you determinate on, on what is going to suit the, the bride. And in terms of hair trends, what are you seeing that's coming through and, and being pro prominent? Well, what, what, what we see at B Premier is the fact that what clients really want is you've got to find out what the individual is all about. And there's some people who are very natural, some people want to be dressed, and then there's some people who want to go more beyond the dreams of what they've had before. OTT, yeah, over absolutely. the top. Yeah. And what you've really got to do is understand the person and you've got to understand the hair to get that right result and look. Yeah. And, and makeup, can a bride do her own makeup on a wedding day? A bride can do her own makeup. Um, I mean, we've got all over in, in the departmental stores, we've got um, um, counters that they can go to where we actually give them a lesson that they can actually do their own mm. makeup and just buy the product and, and do their makeup at home. And go ahead. So, and go ahead, yeah. And then, of course, it's, it comes to mothers in laws, it's, it's the bridesmaids, you've got to do everyone's. Everybody. You laugh because you know <laughs> everyone has to have their makeup done that day as well, so there's a whole oh, queue. Yeah. How do you manage that on the day? Well, I, I think there's a few things because. Quite often you'll get a, a, a bride and she'll have the bridesmaids and the bridesmaids will always do what the, the bride wants. The oh, mother-in-law the, the, the mother will always have an input, yeah? And I've seen it very, very recently where the mother-in-law and the mother and the daughter-in-law the daughter have been at loggerheads about the day. But what you've really got to do, you've got to focus on the bride, yeah? Because that's the most important mm -hmm. one. The bride with the bridesmaids, because you know what you've got to do is have a whole collection of styles which blend together. Of yeah, course. and then you look at the you know the rest of the uh, the wedding uh, crew really, and you've got to put the whole package together. I think what's really important is the plan. Yeah, it's understanding the person, and it's understanding how you're going to achieve those looks. And sometimes when you do those looks, you've got to think about how you're going to build the hair, or how you're going to utilise <laughs> the existing hair. Yes. Yeah, because people have got different types of hair there. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us and for answering those questions. You can find out more next weekend, the 4th and the 5th of November. The, the, Rashad and Richard will be at Valdevi to answer your wedding-related questions. Details on our website, expressoshow.com or valdevi.co.za. So, youngsters, I hope you've asked mom and dad to use the phone because we have got that fantastic Hoodwink 2 competition taking place right now. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.